I'm here to do my wrap up and it's gonna be very very short because I only read three books last month. I was in Hong Kong so I didn't have a lot of time to read and just this month I just didn't feel like reading a lot and two of the books that I read were rereads and the other book I read was a novella collection that I hadn't read before so I really didn't do any favours for my TBR this month and I didn't listen to any audiobooks because I had the issues with my audiobooks and none of them were really working and I didn't really have a lot of time to listen to audiobooks either so this month there was no audiobooks just three physical books and yeah I just didn't read a lot but we might as well get into the wrap up and I can tell you about my three books. So the first book I read was Queens of Fenburn by Kendare Blake. So this is the novella collection that I hadn't read before. I actually read this before I went away because I had two days and this is really not a big book but I really did enjoy it and I liked seeing the stories of how the three girls grew up and then also having the story about the Oracle Queen. This was very interesting but after seeing Catherine, Aris, Snow and Mirabella as children I realised I have forgotten so much about this series and I don't think I could have gone to book two understanding a lot. So that's what I decided that I needed to reread these books. So just because I picked up this novella collection, I realised that it was just going to be too complicated to try and remember that just giving it a reread was the best option for me. And also with this novella collection, if you haven't actually read Three Dark Crowns, you should read Three Dark Crowns first before you pick this up because there is a few little things that will spoil you for book one in this if you haven't already read it. Just I thought I'd point that out. So the next book I read was Three Dark Crowns by Ken Blake. This is a book I brought with me on holiday and most of the time me reading this was either on the plane or on the train so I basically read it over that time and then like the first day I got back I actually finished it but I didn't really enjoy rereading this but I did already know what was going to happen but I do like seeing the relationship between all the sisters because it's such an interesting plot that every generation there's three triplets born and then they have to kill each other and whoever survives becomes the new queen who will then give birth to the next set of triplets and it just goes along the line like that you can have a naturalist queen a poisoner queen an elemental queen and everyone's meant to have powers but in this generation two of the girls don't have powers and one of them does and it's kind of like oh who's gonna win but for some reason with these books they've never fully gotten to that level of like a five star read like I don't think that I'm bored but as I'm reading it I'm just like really not that invested and like I felt this way when I read it the first time too like I do want to finish the series and see where it's gonna go because of the interesting plot but I feel like it could have gone above and beyond with this story idea and this book really didn't so it's still four stars and I did start reading the next one. See, this is my collection of current reads now and I've got way too many because I'm reading One Dark Throne, I'm in the middle of something else, and then Tis the Season of Thorn has started. So I'm kind of a bit all over the place with reading, but I've done this reread and all I've got to reread is One Dark Throne and then I'll be reading new books. And as I've said before, with me finishing my Goodreads goal, all my reading now can just be really random and weird. It won't really count and it doesn't really matter off my TBR, but next year I'm hoping to get back into like reading in a normal way. <laughs> And the last book I reread, I feel like it's gonna come in as a bit of a shock, and it came to a shock to me, but I reread Daughter of Spoken Bone by Lainey Taylor. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I got 50 pages into One Dark Throne, and I just was not feeling it. I did not want to read, I wasn't sure what I wanted to read, and then I just decided I was gonna pick this up and reread it. And then I started reading Days of Blood and Starlight, but then I got 200 pages into that book, and I started to not feel it. I've got two books sitting there that I should have finished reading that I haven't, and then Tis the Season started, so... After Tis the Season of Thon, I might go back into those books or I might pick something else up. I just don't know what I want to read right now. It's getting very hard. But I feel that with this series, the first book is always going to be my favourite because the second two I feel are just going to be too angsty for me. And I was so upset after reading this the first time. Like, it actually killed me that coming into it now, I'm just very sad about everything and I don't really know where it's going to go and I don't feel like I'm liking it because I'm just so sad. I think that's why I stopped reading at the moment because I just don't want to keep feeling really really sad but I do love this book it is still one of my favorites I love Karu I love Akiva I love the story and the plot I love the Prague setting it is just a great like urban fantasy world that I really enjoy and there's like all the different stuff going on with this first book though I can definitely see that foreshadowing of like holy shit what is happening and it was nice being able to like pick up the small details upon reread because I knew I had to reread this book like not that I forgot what happened but I really did need to reread it to get back into the story and I can't believe I've gone to book two when I started this book in 2017 so it's been three years 
Three whole years, holy shit. So that is my wrap up for this month, three whole books. Like when I went to Hong Kong in March, I still read five books in that month. So I don't know what happened here, but you know, I just didn't do a good job. Okay, so this month I didn't do a great job. I only read three books, but I bought six. Six still isn't that bad buying wise and I think my TBR is still looking similar because I did buy some books that I've already read you know because that's just how I am but I think this wasn't too bad a month. I'm hoping that I don't really buy too many books in December because I feel like next year I'll probably end up buying books and hopefully it's just like I'll be able to chill. <laughs> and to let you know how TBR money challenge went, so, so Queens of Fenburn was a book with pink on the cover which was two dollars. I bought one new book and I lost 18 so my new total was 14. Three Dark Crowns was a first book in a series which was another five. I bought another new book and lost 13 dollars so my new total was six. So then Daughter of Smoke and Bone was a book you borrowed or was a gift because I got the box set for Christmas like four years ago from my mum so that was another five dollars and then I bought three new books and I lost nine dollars and my new title was two dollars. I did say I bought six books but I don't actually add books that I've already read into my spending here because it's not part of the GPR fund because I'm not spending money on a book that I've already bought you know what I mean like if I'm saving it to buy new books I hope that makes sense. I kept making up new rules as I went along with this TBR money challenge. Can't believe it's been nearly a year too. I definitely will bring out a video though talking about how I went with the challenge and how I feel it worked or if it didn't work. So that will be happening probably in the next couple of weeks. But anyway guys, thanks for watching this wrap up. This was my smallest wrap up of the year and hopefully in December I will read more books. But anyway guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!